Three years ago, NASA launched the most powerful space telescope in human history, the James Webb Space Telescope. A machine built not just to see stars and galaxies, but to peer through time itself, to look so far into the past that we might glimpse the birth of everything. But no one, not even the most optimistic scientist, expected what came next. Because Webb hasn't just captured distant galaxies or revealed newborn stars in cosmic cradles. It has shattered timelines, exposed impossible structures, and uncovered objects that shouldn't exist. Not yet. In fact, some shouldn't exist at all. What began as a scientific mission has quietly become something far greater, an unraveling of the universe's deepest secrets. And it all begins with one chilling realization. The universe was never what we thought. When Webb aimed its golden eye toward the farthest corners of the cosmos, astronomers expected to see infant galaxies, chaotic, unstructured, barely formed specks of light born shortly after the Big Bang. But that's not what it found. Instead, Webb revealed fully grown galactic giants, massive, mature galaxies that looked like they had skipped childhood entirely. Some appeared just 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang, a cosmic blink of an eye, far too soon for gravity to sculpt something so vast and organized. Even more perplexing, many of these galaxies are brighter and older than they should be. How could they have grown so fast? One theory blames hidden supermassive black holes whose violent radiation makes them appear deceptively large. But even that doesn't fix the math. Something, or someone, formed these galaxies at impossible speed, rewriting the story of creation itself. Webb wasn't built just to take pretty pictures. It was designed to decode light across wavelengths no other telescope could reach. And in doing so, it uncovered something unsettling. The universe might be lying about its age, or at least about how it grew up. Measurements of the Hubble constant, which describes how fast the universe expands, refuse to agree. Webb's data from distant galaxies contradicts readings from the cosmic microwave background. It's like two versions of the same history that just don't line up. Scientists call it cosmological tension, but that's a polite way of saying our entire model of reality might be wrong. If galaxies form too early, if stars appear older than the universe, and if cosmic spin patterns align across billions of light years, then maybe we're not looking at randomness at all. Maybe we're staring at a pattern. As one researcher put it, it's like walking through a forest and realizing all the trees are growing in perfect spirals. You're not in a forest anymore. You're inside a design. If galaxies are strange, planets are even stranger. Webb has begun to directly observe exoplanets in exquisite detail, and what it's finding is rewriting every rule we thought we knew. Planets with one side trapped in eternal sunrise, while the other burns in perpetual twilight. Gas giants colder than ice, and marshmallow planets, so fluffy they shouldn't even hold together. But the most haunting discoveries aren't just exotic, they're personal. Webb has detected water vapor inside a young star's habitable zone. Carbon dioxide leaking from Europa's hidden ocean. Auroras glowing over a rogue brown dwarf drifting through space without a sun. Each of these findings chips away at the comforting idea that Earth is unique. That life, or something like it, isn't quietly thriving elsewhere. We may not have found aliens, not yet, but Webb is rewriting the conditions for where life can exist. And maybe, how easily it can watch us back. Webb's greatest gift is not sight. It's awareness. The more we observe the universe, the more it feels like the universe is observing us. Light bends around invisible mass. Gas forms patterns eerily like fingerprints. Shockwaves ripple like echoes in a chamber. Even magnetic fields in star-forming regions line up with uncanny precision, as if following some unseen order. In the Southern Ring Nebula, shells of dust appear every eight years, 
perfectly timed like the heartbeat of a dying star. Is this chaos? Or code? Some whisper about simulation theory, others about cosmic architecture. Webb doesn't need to find alien ships to suggest intelligence, because what it is finding might be proof of something even more powerful. A universe built to be observed. And if that's true, then the real question isn't what we're seeing. It's what might be seeing us. Among Webb's most mind-bending discoveries are ancient stars that shouldn't exist. Stars glowing with elements like iron and oxygen. Metals that can only form after multiple generations of stellar death and rebirth. Yet they appear in galaxies less than 400 million years old. That's not just early, it's impossible. If these stars exist before the universe had time to forge their ingredients, then maybe time itself doesn't move in a straight line. Some scientists now suggest cosmic time could loop or fold, replaying itself in echoes. If that's true, then Webb hasn't just found new stars, it has torn open the fabric of time itself. Webb was also built to study dark matter, the invisible glue that binds the cosmos. But instead of clarifying, it's deepened the mystery. The galaxies Webb observes are too structured, too perfect for their age, unless something unseen is holding them together. Yet the way they behave doesn't match any model of dark matter we've ever imagined. It's as if gravity itself is being guided by a hidden intelligence, bending the rules to maintain a grand design. Could dark matter have different forms? Could it be alive in some way? Every answer Webb gives only opens another door. And behind those doors, something, or someone, is waiting. Then there's what Webb barely sees. At the farthest edge of its reach, light itself begins to behave strangely. Galaxies fade too quickly. Redshifts stretch beyond logic. Time begins to distort. Some call it the cosmological horizon, others the observable edge. But a few daring theorists now call it the rendered boundary, the point where the universe stops being real. They compare it to a video game that only renders what the player can see. If that's true, then Webb isn't just showing us the universe, it's revealing the limits of its stage. And beyond that curtain? Maybe nothing. Or maybe, the observer. Because the deeper Webb looks, the more it seems the cosmos was never meant to be fully seen. And maybe, just maybe, it's starting to notice that we're looking back. We built the James Webb Telescope to reveal the origins of galaxies, to watch stars being born, to read the atmospheres of alien worlds. But somewhere along the way, we found something else. Something we weren't ready for. Webb didn't just capture light. It exposed cracks in our story. It found fingerprints where there should have been chaos. It showed us patterns, alignments, echoes, and maybe even awareness. It forced us to consider that the universe we live in might not be the real one. Or at least, not the only one. Because Webb doesn't just look outward. It looks beneath, beneath the dust, beneath the distance, and beneath the comforting illusion that we understand reality. And what it's beginning to uncover isn't just a deeper universe. It's a stranger one. One that might have been watching us long before we knew how to watch back. Maybe the stars were never silent. Maybe they were waiting, waiting for us to build a telescope powerful enough to finally hear their question. Not, where are we? But, are you ready to see what's really out there? If this video made you question everything you thought you knew about reality, you're exactly who Nabrix is for. Hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and join us as we uncover the universe's deepest mysteries, one revelation at a time. Because James Webb is only getting started. And so are we.